Good morning, just a quick hello before I have to start work. I'm trying to get my system booted up. I did an update and it looks like it's still installing my updates or did updates over the weekend or something, I don't know. Um, I'm so sleepy today, so sleepy. I really need my coffee. This is cinnamon dolce syrup with um, mixed with caramel nut pots and caramel, no, and <laughs> cinnamon swirl nut pots with the super coffee. I had the worst insomnia last night, the worst. I slept good Friday night, slept good Saturday night. Actually, Friday night I went to bed pretty early. I was just exhausted. Saturday woke up really early to go get my groceries done because I had an appointment later on in the afternoon and I had a really productive weekend. Um, but just last night when we went to bed, I was reading for a little bit as usual. Then I started to feel sleepy, put my book down. Could not sleep, so put my book back up start to get sleepy, put it down, just could not sleep. So finally I thought, okay, maybe I need to quit reading. So then I just tossed and turned, tossed and turned. So I finally thought, okay, I need to do something. It's just driving me crazy, tossing and turning. So I went and grabbed my book again. Then I finally was like, okay, I think I can finally sleep because I felt, finally felt sleepy enough where I think I would actually go to sleep. So that was about 1.30 and my husband's alarm went off at, he didn't have to work till six today. So it was like 4.30. Actually, I didn't even hear his alarm. I heard my alarm when it went off, which I set my alarm to go off after his last snooze goes off. That way I could make sure he gets up. And that's only when I heard and I looked around over and he was already out of bed. I didn't even hear him get out of bed. So I only got a few hours sleep. I, I didn't even have coffee. I had the only coffee I had yesterday. So before anybody says anything, the only coffee I had was at like when I first got up Sunday morning, which was about 7.38. And I had two cups of coffee before I started meal prepping. And that was it. I didn't even have energy drink or anything yesterday. That was all I had yesterday as far as coffee. I drank water the rest of the day. Didn't even drink my electrolytes, which I did need to do that today. Um, I even took my sleeping stuff last night. This is the first time in weeks that I didn't haven't had a good night's sleep, but it was, I think it's just about insomnia. You know, it just happens sometimes and it is that time of the month. So maybe it has something to do with that. I don't know, but I just could not sleep and I am exhausted today. So then I got up and I was trying to work on um, some posts for like Instagram and stuff and I realized, oh, I hadn't even, I haven't even, um, haven't even what? <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't even do my voiceover for my meal prep and so I had to do that real quick this morning and so I haven't even edited my meal prep yet so it'll be up late today. So apologize for that. I'll use my morning break to finish editing it and at least get it started uploading and then it'll probably be posted by lunchtime. Today's smoothie I'm doing, so I did uh, about a half a cup of ice, 12 ounces of the creamy cashew unsweetened, and then a scoop of the strawberry keto collagen and a scoop of the prime protein vanilla. I am also having one of the asparagus and ham egg muffin cups I made in meal prep, which that video posted this morning. Let's try this egg muffin cup. Not bad. It's a little bit different. Like the asparagus is pretty strong. I think maybe I put too much of that in there. Not bad. I think I'm gonna stick with um, like peppers and things like that. It's not quite as strong of a flavor, but if you like asparagus, you'll like these. They, that's really good. The ham has just the amount of like saltiness and the mozzarella cheese. You can just, just taste just a hint of it. Oh, yeah, not bad at all. Here is lunch. This is the Subway, Copycat Subway protein bowl I'm, I posted in meal prep today. So we have spinach, a little bit of mozzarella cheese, some pickled jalapenos, banana peppers, pepperoni, salami, and I think I said spinach. Oh, and olive oil. No, avocado oil and vinegar is on top. It is freezing in my house today. I'm not even kidding. I need to go get some more water. Just finished cup number three. My lunch was amazing. That protein bowl was so good. I think I will definitely be making different variations of those. I'm having like one little piece and then a bigger piece of the peanut butter Twix. I've just been keeping these in my freezer. They are so good, you guys. I guess today, just wanting stuff. Really wanting stuff. So I'm glad I have these in my freezer. 
That's why it's so nice to keep like little treats like this in your freezer, then you don't tend to stray at all. I'm gonna get some water and finish my work day. I did film my February book review video and that was my entire lunch. <laughs> so I'm just not very good at filming those book reviews. So it just takes me a little bit to get them going, but it's 2.30. I'm gonna go ahead and eat that and then maybe make like an iced coffee later. I don't think I have any cold brew though. Oh, I think I do. I think I have some toasted coconut cold brew. Mm -hmm. So I'll probably have some of that later. I have to show you something. It's actually kind of interesting. So I, you know, I ordered that bowl from Subway last week and it was 700 and something calories, if I remember right, after I put everything on there. So I just put everything in Carb Manager for my bowl and I distinctly, like I could not tell you how many slices of pepperoni and salami was on the uh, bowl I had, but I would tell you that the salami, I think, was a little bit larger, but it was still the super thin slice that you buy, that I buy. Um, so I know for each of the books, I made them all yesterday, I know I used five slices of salami and six slices of pepperoni for those bowls. Uh, so, and I sliced them up and put them in there. I feel like it wasn't that much of a difference, but I want you to look at this because that bowl was 700 something calories. So I have everything tracked. I have the pepperoni, the salami, and I know the brand may matter, I don't know. Um, I have the green bell pepper, the spinach, the Roma tomatoes, the jalapenos, the mozzarella cheese, the avocado oil. Oh, I need to put the banana peppers, but I know that's not gonna add that much on there. But let me show you what, I, what my tracker comes up with, with this. Okay, so I have everything on here and it comes up to 279 calories. So we have four net carbs, 20 grams of fat, 19 protein, and 279 calories. That's just crazy. So no wonder why I'm feeling a little bit hungry because, ugh, I can't get my mouse to roll. So you see here, I've had nine net carbs, 20 total carbs, nine fibers, not a lot of fiber, 35 fat, 56 of 80 protein, but I've only had 635 calories. And that's even with the peanut butter Twix, um, uh, what do you call that? Post it on here. So it is super weird, huh? I just, I wonder if they're a little bit exaggerated on there. And I even put the oil on there and everything. So I just kind of wonder if they're a little bit exaggerated on their website. The bowl felt like it was the same size. I should have kept my bowl, but I feel like those bowls were the exact same size that I got from my site. You know, I felt like it was a little bit smaller than the salad bowls. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I am beat. It's only like 445 and I think I'm just done for the night. I'm not hungry at all. If I get hungry, then I will eat something, but I'm just not hungry. So I'm making stew for the family for dinner. That's something easy that I can, what, what are we doing, mister? Hmm? <laughs> something easy to make. I don't, it's already almost all prepped. So I'm throwing that together for the family and I have my book. I have my electrolytes just in case that's what's causing the headache. I mean, the headache is so bad. It's just pounding. I've taken some Tylenol and I'm just waiting for it to click in, click in, kick in. <laughs> I think it's just because I'm so tired because I only got like three hours sleep. So crossing my fingers, I'll get enough sleep tonight. Um, so I think I am just gonna relax the rest of the night, read my book and get to bed early and hopefully tomorrow I'm feeling better and I have a much more exciting day for you. I have a couple things I want to taste test so that'll be tomorrow. Try to hit the stores and um, my errands that I have to run. I have not even did my planner for the last two weeks. I feel so lost. I may actually sit down and do my planner. That's relaxing to me so I may do that tonight too. Um, if I don't fall asleep first, <laughs> we'll see how the rest of the night goes. If I do have anything else to eat, I'll pop it up here, but I will see you guys tomorrow. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye guys.